Hey guys, my turn in the video. It's Boy Dean Chi event today. We're doing a great AO. Trying to rebuild the Dallas Cowboys in every single man in I own. I I I own man 17 through man 21. And you guys enjoyed this. Make sure hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn notifications. Um, this is just gonna be part one, so part one um will be man 17. And yeah, let's get into this. Um, comment below if you want me to see the seven teams. So, I did another recording. I wasn't talking the whole time. And when I was, like, going over the defense, I realized it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gonna make check. We're just gonna hope you guys can hear me. But, uh, yeah, see, Zeke was a rookie. We have Dak Prescott, backup rookie. Um, we got Tony Romo, an 87 overall. He's 36 years old already, though, so we may want Dak to step in, possibly. Um, receivers, they were all right. We were pretty, actually, pretty good. Des Bryant is prime. Beckham Collins wasn't a good line, that good of a lineman. Jason Witten's here. He's Jason Witten's only 84 overall. We had Hitchens on this team at one point when he was young. 74. We must have drafted him. But, yeah, as you know, Sean Lee, he's still 30, 30 years old here, but he's a... 90 overall. Corner situation was really great, except for our number one corner. Um, the Marcus Lawrence when he wasn't that stacked. Irving, 68 overall. Dude, this is weird seeing all these players who were like starters and decent overalls being bad overalls, or these players who are not that great being like 80, 90 overalls in 921. Um, okay, there are schemes, but it's, they're different, like, it doesn't tell you the percentage or anything. I don't know if the same playbooks work. Just to be safe, since I don't know if the same playbooks work, I'm just not going to touch that. I guess we can look into, uh, free agency? Whoa, a 26-year-old, 85 overall. Okay, he had to do something in real life. But we're signing him. Because he looks pretty dang good. Ryan Fitzpatrick was a free agent during this time. Johnny Manziel was still in the quarterback market. Holy... I mean, I don't really think there's anybody else worth in free agency grabbing. Middle linebacker. Possibly. Corner would be an interesting grab. Any young guys who are worth a flip? No. Oh, yeah, I didn't even check her specialties. 82 for a Dan Bailey on this team. What a legend it was. Chris Jones was actually on our team back then. He was still, on, he was still 27 years old. Oh, jeez. I was how old that man was. Do we meet it in the linebacker? Smith was a 75 overall rookie. Who's this guy we got playing over him? Hmm. <laughs> this is teaching me a lot about my team. I think the upgrading system is also different here, but injuries are off, so we're not going to need stack um, quarterbacks like we have. So we could honestly actually take away all of But I want to keep Dak Prescott around for the fact it's Dak Prescott. No, could be kind of realistic. For when Tony Romo's gone, if we can't get this done in a year. But Kellen Moore could 
definitely go. He's a 70 overall. Is any team going to have any interest? The Jets. Of course they would. Of course they would. Geno Smith's their quarterback. No wonder you have interest. So do I honestly go for a win now? Or draft picks? Leonard Williams is here as a rookie, it looks like. Or maybe a second-year player. Mmm. I don't know, like... What do I actually do here? Do I just get, like, a stud 26-year-old lineman? Do I get a draft pick? I don't know. I'm gonna get draft pick. Honestly, no way they would take this straight up, actually. So I just wanna see. Yeah, they, um. I could do it if I worked for it, but. Draft picks are so easy to get in this game. They need receiver. We don't have very much of that that I would like to give up. Quarterback, we're already offering you. Right outside the linebacker. I mean... Could probably get a replacement for someone in the draft. You just don't want that guy. Um... Do we have a good backup? No. We had a... Pretty good backup here, but they don't want him. Why not? He's a 76 overall. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We're stacked on running backs that we can trade. Why don't you want any of these guys? Let's, let's say, why don't you want any of these guys? Apparently, he bumped up the interest. I know this is kind of a lot of value for our first round pick. But it's the Jets, so you never know. They could always be bad, no matter what Madden it is. Sorry, Jets fans. But we just sent more. Um, some Our backup running back and a fifth round pick. Or a third string running back, actually. Um, Our number one need is corner. They didn't really have any good corners. I think that's going to be my one move for the uh, preseason moves. Going to go ahead and skip to the regular season here. Um, can Tony Romo lead us to a Super Bowl? It's going to be the only game, the only Madden I have, where Tony, but we're going to have Tony Romo. So I guess we got to make it count now, right? I completely have forgot how digression works and stuff like that in this game. So. And I feel like we should play just like the key moments of one game to see the team, you know. But, um. This Cowboys team was a Super Bowl team. Well, it was a divisional round team, but it should have been a Super Bowl team. People argue if Tony Romo didn't get hurt in the Super Bowl team. Like, Dak surprised everyone, but, like, if Tony Romo, if his more experience been in that playoff situation, he would have. I don't know. But. Dak's best year was his rookie year. Not statistically, but. You know, like, record wise, you know, it was. Dax Prescott's clearly best year. Now, I don't think you can auto-upgrade. I think you have to manually go through every player and upgrade. Ah, you do? We'll do that all at the end of the year. I'm, I'm lazy. And you can't simulate training? Dude, Madden, Madden 17 kind of sucked in that department. Oh, here we go. Simulate training. Here you go. Uh, we're going to play the key moments. 
key moments were brand new. We're an 83 overall team. All right, we're going to play the New York Giants. Um, and, guys, I'm not using custom coach. Forgot to mention that. Um, you know, just so we see the coaches, it's only going to be Jason Garrett and Mike McCarthy, but might as well. It's kind of cool how you sh how it showed you like your main guy's goals at the beginning, you know. Oh, you just get straight into it when you skip that. Odell Beckham Jr.'s with the Giants now. Oh, it's so slow. Figure out to speed it up. So here we go back to the action. Football in the red zone. And a big third down play coming up for this defense. Oh my god, the camera started off terrible. Oh my god, he's stupid. It's a really nice 15 yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize. Let's use your young Demarcus Lawrence. This looks like a pass, so I'm kind of worried. It's not a pass! We sent a blitz and they got there. Whatever. Oh, we put we put a points on the board. Third and two. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. Third and two, it's Lomo. See, I was trying to look at the play there, and I couldn't. It's weird. I don't know if it's a different bottom or what. And I got sacked. Like, I... And the reason I'm using lines is I honestly... It was honestly really easy. At least in Madden 18. Oh, in Madden 17, it was not. So I may want to go to using the... I guess they um put in the push buttons for Madden 18, I believe. Then. See, like sometimes it just doesn't. I just can't look at the play. Oh, it's R2 instead of L2. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. Cole Beasley with the catch. With a one yard catch. See getting your spot. To Williams. Nice, Jason Wynn. I felt the pressure. Oh, we got it back. Somehow. Throw it out, Tony Robo. 
It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of Dude, what am I doing? I thought the pass was going to be higher than that. I should have waited because that guy wouldn't have followed. I just threw it too early. Oh, Eli Apple. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I feel so stupid. I can't believe I've thrown two picks. Eli Manning. Guys, I'm going to be mad. I'm not used to the game, okay? And I'm going to be honest. It's just me because like, I suck, but... Who's supposed to be guarding Odell? Like, he should be our number one priority. Is our new free agent signing we're using? Man, they get a touchdown. Okay, go, go Zeke. Rookie, rookie, rookie Elliot, rookie Zeke. Des Bryant. Oh yeah, Andrew Luck. I see in there Frank Gore. We'll leave on the Indianapolis Colts here. It's fun to see. You. No guys elsewhere. Oh god. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it to Zeke. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't mean to throw it to Zeke. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. Cut they expect left. him to be a Cut starter right away and a future all pro. So they don't have any time Ready. to wait Five, for him 20. to play. They want to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from the season ago. Jeez. I spammed X. What am I running? I can deal with that. Dude, oh. Red zone's just crazy hard. Okay, I don't need the tutorial. Because back then, this kicking system was a brand new system. Did I miss that? No, I didn't. Dak Prescott holding it for us. Don't be driving right down the field like you are right now. Please, no. That's gotta be holding. Like... Uh, we will decline the penalty. Come on, can we come back in this game? No. Oh my god, how did Odell drop that? What the frick, dude? Now we have a chance to go down and win this game. Something I've not been able to do myself.
Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Getting set to go again. To I mean, I don't want to risk the pass. So we're going to just have to run with Elliott, even though they're probably expecting it. I could have maybe gone around and got some space, but... Oh, don't pick that. I just didn't want to wait on Jason Witt and he was taking forever. <laughs> Eli Apple was a top 10 pick in the 2016 draft. And one of the reasons his ability to get better. Because remember, he's a young guy. And he just didn't make a go ahead and go. Retro sophomore when he came out. He's going at a pretty good rate. How about that player? Oh, don't pick that. Dude, we can't do anything with the ball. Like, just nothing develops at all for us. You think they would run to try to eat clock. And that's what they're going to try to do. I don't get it. Like, this game, like, Blitz has had to be just, like, not working. I send a Blitz, and they get more on run than if I do. If I, like, play, like, a, like a freaking pervert, prevent pass zone. Like, I don't... Come on, there you go. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And extra defensive. If they pass, I'm burnt. Third and four. It's a run. And we stop it. So we have one timeout and a minute and 51 left. Why? This makes no sense on their part. And they're gonna get it! This game is trash, bro. What is this? Uh, that's typical Madden even now. They go for a fake. I mean, it's over. Like, they do a fake. On fourth down and three, where if they don't get it, they're asking us to win the game. Dude, how is that logical? So that's how they beat us. Dude. That's so disappointing. We drop our first game of a loss. Primary because of me, but that was just from Madden logic for you. CPU logic. I'm going to fake a point when we're up, and if, I, if we don't get it, we're basically giving the team a win, and, and then you stupidly get it. I don't even know what to upgrade. I'm just gonna spam X and whatever he gives me, he gives me. Byron Jones was a free safety back then. Wait, wait, wait. I don't remember this. Wait. Give me one second. How old is this guy? 25. I mean, I guess we'll play Jones. I guess Jones is a safety. How did I not know this? 
Is this bone for all be decent at corner? I honestly don't even know, but I guess we'll sim to mid-season. See how this team's doing after my mayhem. 2016 season. This time, though, without Dak Prescott. It's Tony Romo. I can remember playing this game on end. Um, I didn't really play franchise back then, believe it or not. I played, um, freaking just play now. Against the CPU or I play against my uncle. No. Played it so freaking much. We are four and three. I mean, this is the old playoff system. So there's no, oh, we definitely wouldn't make the playoffs. Giants only have dropped one loss. Redskins, oh, I can't say that. Actually, don't mind that team. Washington football team, the football team, 5-3. and three. Ooh, got close with that one. Oh, yeah, no one has upgraded because they have not used any of their XP. And we have to scout, scout with college player manually. There was no setting to change this, actually, so we're just gonna... This quarterback, Prospect, Blake, Porter, could be better than Dak. When you're looking at him. Even Lester Newell, this is like a quarterback class. Oh, not that guy, though. Halfway through a season, we did only scout that many players? Dude! And that's manually scouting! Okay, am I sure there's not a setting for this? Oh, I want that on. Yeah, there's no setting for that. That just blows my mind. But I guess we could look for some XP reasons. Or not XP reasons, I'm not saying. Um, Terrence Williams at the time. At the time. Could be a phenomenal pickup uh, to bring back. And yeah. No. Do I really want to bring this guy back? I guess. Do not want him for five years. I'll, I'll take him for three. What do you say? Dude. Just because you're young. Is this guy even a starting left guard? I don't think so. But he's back, I guess. Oh, for over four years. <laughs> Oopsies. We'll bring him back. He's very important for trading. Why are these, like, really old land wanting really expensive and long deals when they're backups, too, is what I don't understand. And that's all really we're going to negotiate with. So I guess we'll sim now. I have a feeling we're not going to make these playoffs just because our other teams are at division so good. Unless we just kick it up here. Like we're not a bad team. We're just not a very good team. If you get what I'm saying.
What, Sims, how was your guys' day? Good, good, good. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Taking forever to sim, guys. We're on week 15, though. Week 16. I wonder what spot we are. I'm imagining it's going to say practice squad players signed. And he does it! We're 10 and 6 and we face the Giants in the wild card. Oh no. <laughs> this could be very bad. Yeah, just mainly very bad. Tony Romo plus 2. So he's playing as a 89 overall. Nice. So one thing I've noticed is that some CPU upgrades some players and just leaves other players high and dry. Defense is better by offense. Zeke has 16,000 to spend. And it's just not wanting to spend it. Wait. It takes 12,000 to upgrade Zeke speed. Is there anything else we get to upgrade? That he needs? Look at this. His awareness... We're about to shoot that up to a 90 overall immediately. Zeke's now an 86 overall running back. <laughs> that was nice. Um, We barely beat the Washington football team in the division. We Of uh, top three teams were tied. This was a... Snack division, that's quite off. We were the seventh best offense. Sixth best defense, so. I'd say it was pretty alright. Playbook was good. 4,700 yards, 44 touchdowns, with 17 picks for Tony Romo. Why did Dak get to play a little bit? Injuries are off. Whatever. Rushing Zeke. Even as a rookie in Madden 17 was a beast. 1,200 yards and 9 touchdowns. Receiver, Cole Beasley did his thing, but he was in the slot. Um, it's slow. It was slot even a thing. Should have been. Um, but he probably was. Uh, Dennis Bryant popped off a 16. Terrell Williams got the ball the most, but it was only our third best receiver. Jason one was quite a uh, good. He yeah, actually wasn't even that good. He was all right, but tackles were, were led by this McClan guy. Tackles for us were Thorin with five. Marcus Lawrence there at three. Sacks to Marcus Lawrence at nine. Still popping off in Madden 17. Interceptions, three for him. Orlando had three. Well, the free agent had two. Carr had two. Anthony Hitchens had one. Sean Lee had one. Um, Any defensive touchdowns by chance? No. Let's look at the awards. Oh, not weekly. Cam Newton. See, Cam Newton has the same face picture in Madden 17 as he has in Madden 21. You're only now in real life. He looks way different from that. No, it's just a hairstyle. But, Maddie, you can put in that little detail by giving him a new picture. Um, but Russell Wilson won MVP on a 10-5-1 Seahawks team. Tony Romo came in number four. Sean McCoy when he's that good. Coach year, Rex Ryan. Was Jason Garrett anywhere? He was not. NFC offense player goes Russell Wilson. Tony Romo, number four. That's it. Adrian Pearson in this game was a 93 overall in the Vikings. Defensive player, Bobby Wagner. My client guy, number three. Offense rookie here goes to, go, go to Zeke. Dak Prescott, not even playing it down, is number seven. Tell me how that works. Defensive rookie year. Veron Harrington's. DeForest Buckner was a rookie on the 49ers. Wild. Yeah, Dak Prescott won this award in real life, but Zeke won it here. 
Um, mainly just because, uh, Dak's not starting. Best QB with the Tony Romo. Wait, wait, wait. So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Russell Wilson wins MVP, but not only does Aaron Rodgers finish ahead of him for best QB, Tony Romo wins best QB. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. Carson Palmer's. Kirk Cousins was a Washington football team. Ryan back, we did not win. Ellie was actually number six. I usually don't work at these words, but I'm kind of interested. Um, Chris Dennis Bryant, best receiver. Cole Beasley was number seven. Tyron Smith, best of line. Zach Martin, number two. Number three for Travis Frederick, yeah. Best D-line, we didn't have quite a good D-line. Linebackers, I bet that guy's in there. Nowhere to be found. Oh, no, he's number seven. Best DBs. I'm assuming I know. Maybe Orlando got in there, but he didn't. Uh, Dan Bailey got in there. Interesting. I guess we're just gonna um, jump into this game with the New York Giants. We're gonna super sim. Only jump in if we have to. And I don't really want to because I just don't want to ruin this team. Both 10 and 6. Giants get home field advantage though. So. But yeah, Giants and Washington football team don't have that much collapse, but. The freaking um, New York Giants had a huge collapse, six to one, to ten and six at the end of the year, allowing well, that didn't really allow us to sneak into the playoffs. May not, re not really, no. What allowed us to sneak into the playoffs was Washington football team, and us just getting on a roll. But yeah, let's get into it. It's a snow game. Whoa, we're up three nothing. We're up 10 nothing. 10 to 3. 10 to 6. 13 10. Uh-oh. 20 to 10. They're going rapid on us. And we're at a stage where we have to punt the football. Let's see if we can do anything on defense. Come on, don't let him get that! Dude, this game. I'm not even going to jump in on defense. Uh, we're hopeless. Of course they score a touchdown on us. What do we do? We're just getting spanked by our divisional rivals. But we hit Jason Witten. Down by 17. I don't see how we come back in this game. But we sure are gonna try! And Tony Romo fumbles. It's over. Can you believe that, dude? We had a wide open Jason Witten as well. 
Or just send the extra game. I can't believe we're up 10 nothing at one point. We're gonna lose 41 to 10. We got absolutely smashed in the wild card. Like, it wasn't even a competition. It wasn't even anything I did. It was just a team play bad. Seek had a fumble and it was a terrible game overall. <sighs> You know, it's frustrating. You lose four, you get blown out. I don't think I've ever had a team I'm rebuilding. Just get absolutely blown out. I don't even, you don't have enough for... Why are we trying to upgrade that player? <laughs> We get absolutely smashed like that. We have a bunch of points now, but it costs so much. Yeah, 15 points. And for the amount of points you get, if you're simming, it's terrible. Like, I'm only going to be able to get the top 20 in the class. So I'm only getting another combine grade. Madden was so bad about this. I'm going to only have 22 players scouted going into the draft. Like, that's just stupidly bad. Whatever, let's get into some free agency. I don't know who would even be pending free agents at this point. Um, who switched teams around this time? I don't even know. Will Hill has to negotiate. He's a pretty good player. Like, I kind of want him to stay. And I guess I'll bring you back. I don't want you for four years. What did you say? No aspects of this offer is what I'm looking for. Forget you then. You know what? I'll sign you the three-year deal. With even more money. And if you don't accept this, then we aren't bringing you back. Okay. Okay. 
He's just not interested in signing. We make so many. Hmm. I want to offer any of these guys big bucks, but none of them want to come back. I'm not ready to negotiate. And it's saying I have to franchise tag? Like, does no one see this but me? He wants to. Well, I mean, I could. I can use my franchise tag on anyone. Do I really want to use an Aronim clone? None of these guys are really worth using my franchise tag on, though. None of these guys are worth it. Guess he's the most worth it one, so we'll franchise tag him. He retired? Huh, ain't I glad I signed this guy to a contract? Hey, his name's Gavin, too. You know what? I don't care. He's our starter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the best QB here. Hoyer was a decent overall. Johnny Menzel is still here. No QBs I want. Running backs. Honestly, just trade bait. I feel like in Madden 17, they could still be worth. So, if we can... Hey, we have a 55 overall. Like, might as well just chunk something out there. That's a really good receiving option, but he's 38 years old. Well, Sneed is here. I wonder if the Ravens picked him up in real life here. He just actually resigned in real life. I kind of want to bring him in. He's 24 and 80 overall. He could be very good. We're the top on his leaderboard right now. If we could bring him in, that's huge. I mean... Look, Donald's the better... Donald is the better option at tight end. But, we got Gavin. I can't... I can't... I, I want... I, I want to... I want to actually get the W in this rebuild... It has to be minimum or uh, maximum of four years. I want to get the double in this rebuild, you know? So I'm going to just have to. We have no backup. We don't really need a good one. It could be anybody. So whoever's asking for the least money. You. And this guy would do. He's only asking one year deal, so I don't mind it. Bunch of old guys as their backups, but I was just spamming them and looking to see if there was a backup party for that position or not. 
Uh, let's withdraw our offer for that guy. Uh, just real quick. Yeah, we'll withdraw our offer on him too. This guy will not withdraw our offer. Now, I really want to get a young guy in here like Mills. Because free, he, he could, you know, come off after a little while. And free would be a really good guy to fill that place in. Where we don't have to draft one. Especially when we have the uh, scouting sucks. I mean, are there any even decent options at D-Tuckle? Hill's a decent option. At the D-Tackle spot. He is, he is. Now, would we even need him? Okay, absolutely. Or right, wait. Actually, no. Easily would be the better option. Would he? Yeah, he totally would be. I'm gonna way outbid the Seahawks. He's not even better. He's not even better. I don't know why people are offering on him. Hmm. What to do? We could have a new starter, but... I'll pass. I really like what I got going on there. Right outside linebacker. Sean likes getting old. If we could get Perry. I mean, he'll be good for a little bit. But honestly, Jenkins would be my move. God, how much money did you guys throw out to this guy? Hey, we should blow them out and offer, right? We're barely in first place. Alright, corner is just a huge need. So I don't care who it is or how old they are. We gotta take the best player available. He only wants a one year deal. I'm honestly fine with that. He's not that great. But we need someone. Guess we can't get anything in the draft. Got Byron Jones at the spot. So do we need really Jefferson? No we don't. Strong safety. Church is who we let go. So we don't really need anyone there. Kicker. Don't need one punter. Don't need one. Oh, uh, yeah, we're ready to sim the week. I don't know if fourth year or fifth year options are in on something. I don't even know. So I don't know if we're going to have to. Sneed accepts. The right guard tight end accepts. Right outside linebacker. Tackle. The corner accepted. That's a big one. The tackle accepted. Okay, we got some pretty big free agents. So, we're going to go in here to the trading center and try to trade this guy. Alphon Jeffrey was a 92 overall 27-year-old on the Chicago Bears. I don't know if they picked him up or he's actually a Chicago Bear. I don't even know. I don't need him, though. I just realized I don't need him. You got anybody else who would be good? Eh. Eh. You got any corners? Kyle Fuller becomes really good later on. But in Madden, this Madden, he's just not 
that good. And they actually need corners. I don't know if they would be interested in trading him away. He would be an upgrade at corner, though. So if there's any way that they're freaking insane and give us to him, uh, we're going to get him. And guess what? We got depth because of free agency to trade with. I swear that went down. And putting that guy into the deal or just didn't move at all. Um, yeah. We're trading for corner because we need corner. I mean, honestly, what if we swapped corners? They're apparently okay with swapping corners for a older and worse corner. And then we're just getting a solid running back. I mean, I'll add Kyle Fuller to my roster any day. No matter what Madden it is. How worth was he actually? He's only normal dev. So was he worth it? I don't know. Maybe not. But <laughs> it's an upgrade. If we can't get anybody in the draft, it was a must-need move. Now, if we can get somebody in the draft... It was kind of an unneeded move, but it was a needed move there, all right? Anybody have any green interest in him? The Colts have interest. He's old, though, but he's a stacked corner. T.Y. Hill in here. Andrew Lux in here. Honestly, I just kind of want their draft pick. Number six overall. If there's any way, oops, we can negotiate with them. So let us have this. He's not going to bring us anything in the future to the table. And that goes through back up left outside linebacker Hillman. And that gets us a number six overall pick. In the draft. So I take that. I feel like that was some of the. Like those are really must need moves to make. And. Yeah. Oh we did the scout more college players. throughout. Okay. That's good. Because it costs so much to scout people. Just, we're not going to have the later round guys scouted is the thing. I don't know if any even know anybody didn't take up on our offer. We'll have to wait and see. Doesn't look like it. And doesn't look like there's third year options in this game. Maybe we should start going for what we need. Uh, we scouted all the good QBs. Running back, we don't need. Um, wide receiver, we've scouted a whole bunch of them. Tight end, we've scouted. For the main part, I'll scout this tight end, but. Lyman, we don't really need. Oh, uh, there's a first round right guard. I might as well scout real quick. This looks like an okay-ish defensive end. D tackle would be huge, but he's not that good. He kind of looks like a bust. Corner. Undraft. Okay, there's not very many of what we need is what we found out today. Primarily what we need, there's not very much of it. So... Alright, fi final week of scouting, we gotta use this smart. I mean, there's still some good receivers we haven't scouted, but we don't need them. 
I mean, we could scout. Oh, undrafted lineman. Jeez, dude. Right, these linemen. The linemen are pretty good.